Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the large and small functions. Okay, these are somewhat sil similar to the min and max functions, except they're more subtle and they give us more control. So let's first look at the data we're going to use for our examples. It's just uh, w basically rows of observations five observations for each of these rows okay so what we're interested in here is to get the max first then the min and then maybe expand on this a little and just get a little feel for how the large and small functions work of course you know that you can just use equals max and I've made videos on these basic functions on my channel before and clearly we see that 25 is the max in this row and that's easily transferable as we drag that down but we don't want to use the max function we want to use the large function because it gives us more control so we start equals large we highlight the same data except the large function takes a second argument and this second argument is what gives us more control we can tell it to get us the first largest number in other words the highest ranked number when sorted largest to smallest and that is equivalent to the max function and you see we get in fact 25 but what we can also do is to go in here and instead of saying give us the largest if we write 2 for the second argument it'll give us the second largest function and we see 22 is in fact the second largest fun uh, number here okay and we could likewise change this to any numbers so long as it is within the range of the number of numbers that we have in the data that we've highlighted in the first part of the argument okay we have five numbers so we can go up to five and five here would be the equivalent of getting the smallest number which is in fact three okay now let's change that to the max let's go over to the min equals min another one of the very basic but very useful functions will give us the minimum number here which is three we all see that we all know how that function works but let's get the same result using a more subtle function called the small function equals small highlight the same data of course now this what this does is it it sorts this data here in ascending order meaning smallest to largest and then the second argument is telling the function of that sorted smallest to largest data which observation do you want so if we write one we're getting the first observation which is the smallest which would be three and in fact we get three but this control we have here is a little more subtle in that we can now go in here and say give me the second smallest number or the third smallest number or the fourth st smallest number and so forth okay so let's just use two just to see that we get 10 which is in fact the second smallest number okay but let's turn it back to one and then let's drag these down right that's the power of Excel not to have to repeat these functions over and over now this was the intro to large and small functions what I'm gonna do is make a follow-up video where we can actually use the large or small functions as array functions to get us sorted data or sorted a sorted subset of the data so this being our data each row representing a separate uh, sort of entity of data we can now sort this in any kind of ascending or descending using the large and small functions we just learned but we can also subset this so we could say 
hey, sort the top three numbers, uh, or the, should I say the highest three. So this number, this number, and this number would be the highest three, or the top three, the largest three. And let's say we want to sort those, so 12, 22, 25, perhaps we, can, we want that in a row over here. Okay, so we're going to learn how to use the large or small function in an array uh, format. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. This video leads on to the one I just talked about, and it also leads on to uh, videos I've made on averaging groups of numbers or summing groups of numbers while eliminating the bottom two numbers or the top three numbers or the bottom number, whatever you need, the large and the small function accompanied with the average function could let you do a lot of interesting things and automate them so that once you've created the function you can drag down. Okay. That's the power of all this stuff. It's not just busy mind work. It's actually useful. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe and check out those other videos as well. Have a great day.